Welcome followers of the past. Welcome Rosarians. Welcome to the great Exodus series, God's plan of rescue for his children. Let my people go, the past to Mount Zion. My name is Michael. I'm the founder of Triple Grace, the Righteous Past Movement Foundation, and the author of the Book of Love that you can order at Amazon. A link is in the description box below. And today our topic is Become an Early Christian. Have you ever read the book of Acts? Have you seen how the first Christians have acted in spirit and truth, and how much power and glory was over them? Because they fulfilled everything what Jesus has commanded, to go forth in the nation to make disciples, to take their cross, to separate themselves from the world, and to shine their light to, into their neighborhoods. And they did that every day. They had house churches, not buildings of mortar, where now there is no spirit and truth anymore in today, where we have people fun, having fun exercises, even yoga in the churches. Where have we gone to? It's everything going down and down and then down, and now good is called evil and evil is called good. So we will restore the assemblies of old. The altar will be restored. The Elijah spirit is here. And now we will bring forth again the assemblies of love and righteousness. And you will become an early Christian. A Christian full of zeal. A Christian that is addicted to the gathering of the saints. How do you do that? By becoming an elder, by establishing a society of the rose, an assembly of love and righteousness. And as an elder, you are the one who will be addicted to the gathering of the saints, because your society of the rose will gather in the people, so that they get in the meetings that you have every day, not once a week, but every day, they will be empowered, and then they will go out into the neighborhood to spread the light of Jesus Christ and of the Father for all to see. You will be separated from the world and from Babylon, the false religious system that we are having right now. And you will fulfill everything what is written in the book of Acts. You will come together in love, unity and support. You will bring forth righteous deeds every day as a daily sacrifice of love. By going out in your neighborhood and every day you are lifting up people, you help the nameless and faceless and shine forth your love that you have received from the Father to these people. And you will not act in your name, but you will act only in the name of Yahweh. You will go and say, the Father has sent me to lift you up in his name. Take my hand and I will help you right now in Jesus' name. And then everything will come to pass and you will see angels coming to your societies of the rose assisting you. Provision will be supplied to you. Everything will come straight forward and you walk in spirit and truth as all Christians should. But now they are not walking in spirit and truth. Now they are committed to the beast economy. Now they are committed to careers, to riches, to cars, to houses. But not to the heavenly kingdom. And we will change it because our mission is of triple grace is to build these assemblies of love and righteousness on every continent, in every nation, and if possible in every town, so that everybody will see these are different people. These are not the normal Christians, no. These are Christians filled with the power and the glory of the Father, with the Shekinah glory. And they will walk forth and show it every day. And you will gather the crowds and you will expand. And if you have more than 50 people in one society of the host, you will establish another one and another one and another one. And it will grow and grow and grow. And finally, we will have all that multitude closed and white standing at the base of Mount Zion. And there we will be raptured into paradise. And the best thing now, you can be part of it and you can establish your own society of the rose right now. So come together. Watch the video that we have on our YouTube channel about the societies of the rose. Get an understanding. Ask your question to our ministry email, triplegrace55 at gmail.com. Take the challenge of a pure heart. I put a link in the first pinned comment and see how far you are away from becoming a first Christian believer.
Read the book of Acts. Have the understanding and compare yourself. And then change your life. Separate yourself from the world and from Babylon. And become a true early Christian. Come together. Have everything in common. Share resources. Sell access. Use the funds to help everybody who had need. All this what is written in the book of Acts. Let it come alive again. Forget about your career. Forget about the peace system. Because very soon the peace system will be controlled by the Antichrist. And if you want to make a career at that time, you will have to take the mark. And if you take the mark, you will never have eternal life. At least not in heaven. Then you will have eternal life in the lake of fire. And do you want that? Of course not. What you want is to have eternal life with our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ and our Holy Father, Yahweh, forever and ever. And this you can do when you separate yourself from the beast economy and the beast system and the Antichrist. And join now the societies of the Rosal, Assemblies of Love and Righteousness. This is the Elijah spirit spoken when it said that before the great and terrible day of the Lord, I will send you Elijah who will restore all things. Now we are on the path of restoring the things of old and bring them back to former glory. And you can be part of it. So join us. Sign up for triple slash grace.com. It is free. Only an email and a password and you are a member. And then you can use all the resources that will help you on the path. Become a follower of the path. Follow of the path of Jesus and the follower of the path to Mount Zion. Become a daily sacrifice who will go forth every day to do a loving sacrifice by lifting up the needy, seeking the lost sheep and helping the nameless and faceless. And you can do that. This is a time for you to step out. Now you must step out to receive your glory. There is a pouring out of the latter rain and this is the latter rain. So do not miss it. Do not miss that pouring out and the restoration of all things because you are sitting and hiding in your careers, sitting and hiding in your, in your houses or in your cars or behind your luxuries. Now step forward. Read the book of Acts. Get an understanding. And if you have questions, send them to me. I'm here for you 24-7 to assist you. And establish an assembly of love and righteousness in your neighborhood. Everybody is invited to join, to come forward. Let us have a great and huge online community and a great and huge community in the public so that the people will see, oh, these Christians, they are different. They are different from the ones who go to the church buildings. Yes, they are different because they are walking in spirit and truth on the path to Mount Zion. So be part of us. Sign up. If you have questions, ask them. Don't be afraid. This is your path to glory. This is your path to the rapture. And this is your path to eternal life. As the Lord Jesus Christ said, take your cross and follow me. Follow that light. Go to the light. Come to Mount Zion. Be raptured into paradise. And on the way, fulfill what is required to go into the nation and make disciples. Gather, gather in the saints. Bring in the righteous people. Bring as many people to righteousness as possible, as is written in Daniel 12, 3. And you can do that, and everybody can do that. Bring your whole families in societies of the rose. Bring your whole family into these assemblies of love and righteousness. And show them force. Be separated. Be different from all the other Christians. Be filled with the Holy Spirit. Be filled with the glory of the Father with the Shekinah glory, and show it for us. With us together, we can do it. We are preparing this for the last 10 years, and now it's the time to implement it, and now it's the time for you to join, and now it's the time to ask your question, and to grow into the restoration of the Book of Acts, the reenactment, reenacting re of the Book of Acts. Now it's the time. To, to show forth the glory of the Father and the love of the Father for all to see into your neighborhoods so that the people can point at you and see, these ones are not the normal Christians. This one is a special one. This one is set apart. You can even see 
his light shining around him every day when he walks past here because he's fulfilling everything what is written in the scripture. Do you want to be part of that? Okay, then the first step is take our challenge of a pure heart. I put the link in the first pinned comment. See how far you have gone away from being a, becoming a first Christian. And then after that follow the instruction that we have on that page. And if you have questions, mail them to me at triplegrace55 at gmail.com. Let us go, come together. Let the questions come in so that we can put it into the public, that everybody can see the videos. Share the videos, bring it to your friends and families. Let them discuss assemblies of love and righteousness and come together. We have to make a new restoration. We have to bring a new altar, the altar of old, back to life. In the same way as Elijah did it at Mount Carmel. And the power and glory of the Father will come down to us. And he will help us on our way. He will protect us against the Antichrist and his minions. And against the enemy forces. And he will allow us to shine the glory of the Father for all to see. Now it's the time. Take the challenge of a pure heart. And see and follow the instructions. Join us, not only our YouTube channel, but also our website, triplesgrace.com. It's free. All the resources are free, so come, join, be a part of it, and be active. Ask questions, come in. Let us make Q&A from time to time. Let us bring all the questions in. You get an answer right away. So come for us now. Show your love to Jesus Christ and show you especially your love to the Father as Jesus has commanded you. What is the first commandment? Love your Father above all else. And then love your neighbor as yourself. So that is the principle of an assembly of love and righteousness. So let us establish them everywhere in the world and you can be part of it. Start today by taking the challenge of a pure heart. My beloved brothers and sisters, my beloved followers of the past, and my beloved daily sacrifices, I thank you that you have listened to this video and that you share it through social media and that you share it with your friends and family and that you bring more and more people into righteousness by guiding them to the new path, by guiding them to the restored altar, by guiding them into the assemblies of love and righteousness. Thank you that you have listened to this very important message of the time. Now act on it. Take the challenge of a pure heart. See how far you are away and then change your life from a career-based living to a heavenly living in faith and in spirit and truth. I hope that I will see you again tomorrow. My name is Michael. I'm the founder of Triple Grace and the Righteous Pass Movement Foundation. And have a blessed day in the Lord. May God bless you and your family abundantly. I will see you again tomorrow. Maranatha.